Hi guys, I wanted to talk to you today about calcium. This is a, a very fun metal, a very interesting one, because it's very light, uh, exceptionally light, uh, but it's a metal that most, uh, first of all, a lot of people have no idea that calcium is a metal. They, they think it's something that comes in dairy and, you know, you, when you need to drink milk to uh, get it as a vitamin or something, but uh, it is actually a metal, but it is one that is very difficult to keep uh, shiny like this because uh, oxygen combines with it and to form an, uh, calcium oxide and which looks terrible. <laughs> this is what calcium oxide looks like. Now we sell this, uh, these samples, this is 10 grams, and this is what happens when you expose it to air. It, it's not terribly sensitive, meaning that if you were to break open one of these ampules, uh, it would stay looking metallic for at least a day or so. Uh, but it will lose the the sheen, the metallic luster, and turn progressively darker. It'll look like this. And if it wasn't in this oil, eventually it would turn into a pile of white dust. That's calcium oxide for you. So we sell it um, in the cheapest form in, in this oil. It, sometimes it's not oil, but um, some kind of like kerosene, one of those um, petroleum distillates. And that slows down the uh, oxidation quite a bit. So um, at least it stays in, you know, something that is recognizably metal. But uh, long term, this is a poor solution. I mean, it, it is cheap, uh, but uh, 10 years from now, this is probably going to look, half of it is going to be gone. Um, and even if you don't open the the bottle, because... Oxygen still manages to get through the seals of the lid and even through the plastic itself. And there's just nothing you can do about it. I mean, small amounts are just going to get through regardless. The only way to keep it uh, in its metallic state forever, well, as long as the glass holds, is, is under a noble gas like argon, as in the case here. And uh, that that way, oxygen can't get to it. This is what the metal looks like uh, in its uh, natural state. I think you could call it. You know, if you melt it, and in a in an oxygen deprived atmosphere, it will look like this. Uh, <clears throat> and then, in order to get it this way, uh, you know, it can be cut. It's a fairly soft metal and put into the, these ampules and then flame sealed uh, and then you have a, a very cool sample of uh, metal to, to show off to people and stuff. There's another option which is a little more expensive which are the os uh, I almost said osmium. What am I thinking? I can't concentrate. Calcium crystals. Uh, calcium crystals uh, form very cool shapes and if you hold it like this, it feels like, I mean, it's so light. The density is so low that it feels like popcorn in there almost. I mean, the, the, the sound gives it away, but your mind does a bit of a trick because it's like I'm, I'm not actually shaking anything and I'm hearing metallic sound. So that, that is, you know, something that's pretty cool. And of course, somebody had to call me right now. Go away. Um, so let me just finish by saying that uh, even though this is definitely far and away the preferred method of uh, keeping calcium, unfortunately that process of doing it under uh, a, an atmosphere of argon inside of a glove box or what have you is much costlier. So you end up paying for, for that and, and you know the, the, the glass and the ceiling. There's a lot of labor involved. Uh, some of these breaks. So uh you know in transit so you know that's a loss and, and drives up the price for all the other samples that do make it but uh if you can't afford it this is definitely the way to go uh, with getting one of these samples so anyway if you have more questions about calcium or any other element 
uh, I'd be happy to help. Uh, this is Raciel for Luciteria.